Hello, my name is Wendy Patrick, and this devotional series is called Lost and Found. Here's a scripture some of you might recognize. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors, calls everyone together and says, rejoice with me. I have found my lost sheep. You might recognize that as Luke chapter 15, verses 4 through 6. So here's the question for this devotional. Have you ever been lost? Now, maybe you've been on vacation and gotten lost. Maybe you're in an unfamiliar city, driving around, looking for your destination. Who hasn't been there? And we know how it goes. It's either your spouse or one of your kids in the back seat decides to enlighten you to the fact that, guess what? Despite confidently driving as if you know where you're going, you're lost. Nonsense, you might reply, unwilling to admit defeat. You might claim that you know exactly where you are. But sure enough, as time goes on, sometimes you're going to have to admit defeat. Happens to all of us. Even with the fanciest GPS systems in the world, we get lost. Now, you might have a five-year-old in the back seat who is barely able to see out the window. But nonetheless, he or she might be correct. You've gotten lost. Now, as uncomfortable as that scenario might be for you as the driver, those are the best circumstances under which you could ever be lost. Safe inside your vehicle, safe with your family. Now, what if you were driving alone in an unfamiliar area at night when you realized that you were lost? What if you have no GPS in the vehicle? Maybe you rented a car and it didn't have one. Maybe your phone battery's dead, that's why you always bring a charger with you. But if that happened, and if that were your circumstances, how would it feel to be lost then? Or what if you were lost and you were that five-year-old in the back seat? Now, many of us can remember having been lost or separated from a parent as a child. Maybe it was at a shopping mall or in a parking lot. That is a terrifying experience for a child. Many adults still remember how that feels. How long will it take? for someone to notice you are missing and come looking for you. What if no one does? And what if no one comes? As a Christian, the good news for you is that you never need to feel this way. The parable of the lost sheep tells you that. Jesus promises you that whenever you feel lost, whenever you feel that you've wandered off, you never need to worry that no one will come looking for you because he will. And he will search until he finds you. Not for a little while and then gives up. He'll search for you until he finds you. How important it is to him that he finds you? Important enough to leave the 99 sheep that are safely in the pasture to come looking for you. And when he finds you, what happens then? He will throw a party and rejoice over you. Now, how bad can you possibly feel when you're reminded of that? And that should be our prayer. Lord, please remind us to trust you in all things, even when we are feeling down, because we know that you will never leave us, never forsake us. We're taught that in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Thank you for always keeping your promises and for your